Megan, do you think that we are in the presence of the future of golf mobility? I certainly hope so. What do you think? Yeah, oh, look, I loved it. I was actually surprised how much I liked it and how much it took my, my mind from the game. Which today was a good thing. And for, <laughs> especially for an amateur golfer, right? Because we spend so much time like trying to get it right. It actually adds another element. Another dimension, that absolutely. Great yeah. fun. What's the history of the golf skate caddy? Where did well, it come it's, from? Yeah, interesting. It's, it's Australian designed and developed. The parent company had been producing electric skateboards for about 10 years. Yeah. And they got together and said, well, look, why don't we do something like this for golf, specifically to, to speed up the game and to get some younger people into it. OK. And, then, and how long was the process of, of turning the I mean, because basically that's what it is. It is an electric skateboard with, with, with golf attachments. With a lot of add-ons yeah, and yeah, a lot yeah, of software. Golf absolutely. bag and sand and ball sand holders. Sand bucket, chiller, yeah, yeah, all the, sorts the drink of chiller. computer, yeah. umbrella, seat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long so, was that process? Well, that, that was uh, about four years. So there's a, there's a lot of aesthetics that they've worked with and then also under the hood a lot of software that makes it easier to ride yep. um, and it's also for safety. I can't even believe I'm going to ask, <laughs> but what about the technical specs? You know, like, with the course, how does it treat the course? Oh, yeah, yeah. These are incredibly turf-friendly. There's actually a, a study that they did comparing a drive cart to yeah. a golf skate caddy to a, a walker with a pool buggy. Yeah. Um, and from a point of view of impact on the fairway, the golf skate caddy was equivalent or less to that of the walker with the, um, with the pool buggy. No, it's amazing. It'd be wrong to say the golf skate caddy is just for younger people, wouldn't Abs it? Yeah, 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 without question. It's actually surprised us enormously. Of all of the, the individual sales, um, over 70% have been to people, um, uh, gee, 55 plus, and up to up to uh, mid-70s, which has been sensational. That's amazing. Mm. It's a, that's actually quite surprising. Because I, I don't know, I look at my dad who's 76, yep, yep, and yep. I can't see him on this, but then, I, actually, I did see a guy today, I don't know how old he was. Yeah, yeah. He was Paul, older. Paul, absolutely. Yeah. Do you know Paul's he's flying. Got a, he's got a fused ankle, you wouldn't believe. Yeah. And he's he's absolutely loving it. I've got a, another lady, she's had um, a double hip replacement. Okay. Um, another fellow who's who's staving off a, a knee replacement. Right. So they, they're finding that they can um, get on, keep up with the field, yep. play painless golf again. Yep. So they're really loving it. How are the clubs going? with the golf skate caddy? In the States, they've taken them up uh, enormously. Yeah. There's, I think, 140-odd clubs that have got them on as an adjunct to their fleet. South Africa and also the UK. So they're, they're going gangbusters there, really. People are loving them. What about Australian clubs? Yeah, look, in Oz, um, uh, it's new. Yeah. So I, I know that uh, 20 years ago, drive carts, the uptake of those was, was you know, relatively well, was, slow. I mean, that was changed. Same as yeah. you know, long socks at private clubs. We were wearing those 15 years ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but, but things are happening. Yeah. So more and more clubs are coming on board, which is, which is great. Okay, so it's an exciting time. Absolutely right. Well, listen, I'm not ready to give mine back yet. <laughs> it's like, we have another nine yeah, holes. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's have another nine. You're on.